The difference between backtesting and financial theories. The backtesting of an investment strategy's performance is not a theory, but a possibly flawed corollary of a past that never happened. The researchers never used that strategy for the period under analysis and must make assumptions about several micro and macroeconomic factors to make sense of the data. Such unrealistic simulations cannot explain the causal mechanism that would allow you to acquire an edge over other investors and extract profits. We need a theory to predict the future. We need a testable explanation of existing evidence and anomalies in terms of causality, not only of how X implies Y, but also how the absence of X implies the absence of Y. Investors who want to achieve superior returns should concentrate on building theories, not researching datasets. Machine learning algorithms trained on historical data cannot predict the future because the future is full of unprecedented black swans. Machine learning's real power lies in building and testing causality theories that can not only predict such events, but also profit from them. Backtests are not research tools, as commonly believed. They can only provide evidence that a strategy is a false positive and can never prove a true positive. Only theories, not historical testing, can support true positives. Therefore, you should never develop a strategy using backtesting alone as that might lead to catastrophic outcomes with huge, unrecoverable losses. To discover new financial theories, the first step is applying quantitative research tools to identify the variables involved in a complex phenomenon. These variables, or factors, as we call them in this course, are the key components of any modern investment strategy. But such tools can help you discover and identify these factors they cannot tell you the exact correlation between them. For that, we must formulate a theory that connects these factors through a structural statement, essentially a system of equations that presents a hypothesis about a specific causal mechanism. The theory further leads to a wide range of testable implications, predicting out-of-sample events and explaining both positives and negatives. Machine learning plays the dual role of identifying the variables and formulating fact-based hypotheses for testing. More importantly, machine learning separates the search for variables from the study of their specific correlations. Without machine learning, identifying the components of a theory is impossible because of the sheer complexity of modern financial systems and how much data they generate. Once you have tested and implemented a theory, the theory and not the machine learning algorithm makes the predictions so the portfolio construction and rebalancing decisions are not based on past datasets, but on specific causal correlations discovered. This course lays the groundwork for building financial theories using machine learning technology. It allows asset managers, fintech professionals, and private investors to understand the most important factors in finance on which they can build any modern financial theory. These are the factors that researchers have discovered and studied after computers and data analysis tools became widely accessible. We have tested each factor for validity against five criteria from the latest academic literature on factor-based investing. Over half of this course covers the factors on which today's most significant theories are based. These factors are the building blocks you can use to construct sound financial theories and successful investment strategies. In the course's last few chapters, which are oriented towards more advanced readers with a knowledge of Python code and mathematical equations, we introduce advanced machine learning techniques. In so doing, this course serves the dual purpose of introducing you to the most critical factors in investing and to machine learning boosters.